Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Oh boy, Gold Go 13 Top Secret Episode is a game from my childhood that I could never conquer. In fact, I didn't ever get very far at all. And I guess that's one of the reasons I'm doing this, to go back and get revenge on the games that beat me up as a kid. You are Duke Togo, a super sniper known as Golgo 13. The story is a convoluted one about a CIA helicopter being blown up and a vaccine being stolen. The concept of this game must have been one of the things that made Nintendo of America so draconian with their rules. You end up taking part in a globe-hopping affair that starts in Berlin and ends... at a secret base in the South Pole? Really? Okay. The Drek Empire is the big enemy here, and it is just a reskin of the Nazis. The characters are all out there. The translation is a bit iffy, though well, not horrible. And the ladies dig them some Golgo 13. Hey, this isn't the longest running manga in Japan for no reason. Here's a story based game that features five different styles of gameplay. Yup, that's right. Five different styles of gameplay. You start off in a side scrolling beat em up style. This is going to take a moment to get used to. Gogo 13 is stiff in movement. You can jump with the B button, shoot with the A button, and kick while jumping with the A button. 13 can't shoot while ducking, which is super annoying, but I guess they couldn't make it too easy on the player. You walk around towns in these segments and try to piece together the story and where to go. While walking around, you will occasionally see a handgun and a shot. This takes you into the next mode, the first person shooting mode. You have to scroll around with the aiming reticle and shoot enemies. This mode is practically a godsend because it's easy to kill enemies and gain back life in bullets. The next mode is a side scrolling shoot em up that takes place in a helicopter. You have to avoid taking hits from the enemies as you constantly scroll to the right. I guess technically there is another game mode I forgot about, but it's so fast and rarely used. There are a couple places where you snipe from afar, but you just line up the shot and press the A button. The next game mode is the underwater scuba mode. This is a free moving mode that is similar to the helicopter, but different. There are lots of obstacles that have to be avoided and enemies to shoot. You have to navigate the seas to find underground bases. This is our final gameplay type, the 3D maze. You have to find people, items, and or exits. There are enemies in the maze. Walls that must be destroyed with hand grenades, and ceiling lasers that will zap your life if you aren't careful. Be prepared with graph paper or a map from the internet. I was able to power through Golgo 13 with help from save states. You have unlimited continues, as far as I can tell, but they don't always start you from a recent spot. I had to get a good run through the penultimate room to have enough health to be able to defeat the final boss. Guess who? Yep, a floating disembodied Hitler head. Make that multiple floating disembodied Hitler heads. When it comes to grading GoGo13 Top Secret Episode on NES, graphics get a 1.5. Honestly, the graphics aren't that good in the side scrolling areas or 3D mazes thanks to monochrome color schemes. Sound gets a 3.0. I think the music is pretty good and the sound effects aren't bad. Gameplay gets a 2.0. The different modes work to various levels of goodness. I like the play of the shoot 'em up stages, I don't like the beat 'em up stages or the 3D maze. Difficulty gets a 2.5. Difficulty comes from figuring out where to go and how to get there. Fun Factor gets a 2.5. I had enough fun from going through and finally beating a game from my younger days. Overall, Golgo 13 Top Secret Episode earns a 2.3 and gets a C. It's certainly not a great game, but it's very ambitious. Give it a shot, but don't try too hard. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please like this video. Let me know how you feel about GoGo13. And please subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release because it was your destiny.